what's up guys little fans good year 5400 here i'm here to do a video and this video is on uh well it is on godzilla thon and it is godzilla vs megalon now this is going to be a real short one so here it goes so basically there's this guy and uh he creates jet jaguar and uh basically what goes on though is that uh like i said he creates jet jaguar and eventually he gets kidnapped and stuff like that and uh you know, a lot of stuff you don't care about, but, you know, for more exciting stuff, though, you get Seatopia or whatever it's called, and they unleash, uh, uh, what's his name, Megalon, yeah, uh, and Megalon's actually pretty cool, uh, I mean, as far as show monsters go, because a lot of them weren't that great, in my opinion, uh, but yeah, he was pretty cool, I guess, so, anyways, so you got that, and Godzilla comes, and you know Godzilla can't beat him and stuff. But uh, Jet Jaguar is loose or something like that, and he just starts flying around, and eventually, like you know, they get unkidnapped and stuff. The kid and the one guy in the back of the truck, and they help him out and stuff. You know, a lot of stuff we don't care about. But then uh, Megalon finally rises. He destroys a lot of stuff. And basically what happens is that, uh, Godzilla just comes, and he wants to basically take care of Megalon, and when I say take care, I mean kill him. So, yeah, but, you know, uh, then Gigan comes, because uh, apparently, uh, Gigan and Megalon are allies? Yeah, I mean, you know, you can kind of see it with, uh, Gigan and King Ghidorah, because, uh, Gigan and King Ghidorah were from space and the same alien race, but these two, uh, how did they come, you know, to be allies? It's never really explained that well, but whatever. Anyways, so, uh, Jet Jaguar also comes, and they get into a huge fight and stuff, and, uh, you know, Jet Jaguar gets his ass kicked, has the last to step in, Gigan is, you know, using his buzzsaw and stuff, and also, a lot of stuff, like, uh, a lot of weird stuff happens, and, again, the second most weird what-the-fuck moment is the dropkick. Yep, we, we can't forget that. The dropkick. Let's see, uh, well, basically, Jet Jaguar just holds Megalon back, and Godzilla does a dropkick. <laughs> you know, and they replay the same footage, which I guess is, you know, okay. And also on the poster, I noticed, uh, they have, they have Godzilla and Megalon fighting on the Twin Towers, but that never happens, they're not even in New York, or, uh, wh wherever it is. I mean, you know, so I mean, that, that, that's kind of a weird little thing for the poster. And also, at the same time, uh, y you know, like, how could they even, you know, stand that, but anyways. So, I mean, you know, uh, it's a pretty cool fight, I guess. I, I think Megalon, like, uh, goes away or something like that, and Gaian just flies away. So, you know, that's basically it, though. So, in all, it's not that bad of a movie, but it's not the best. And also, Godzilla, he looks like a little kitty cat, you know? <laughs> but, yeah. And uh, also, at the end, they all become friends. Jet Jaguar and Godzilla, and they shake hands. Yep. So that's basically my whole video, though. So please rate, comment, subscribe, give big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And good year, 5400. Out.